Welcome back to Beyond the Sport. I'm Tish Lee. This past Sunday and Monday, I got to go down to the Texas High School Coaches Association Convention in San Antonio, Texas. I took an opportunity to talk with a few coaches about their faith while they're coaching in their respective sports. Take a listen. We're here with Coach Mathis from Brock. Coach, in a time where emotions can run high during a football game, which is pretty much the whole game, how do you continue to demonstrate to your athletes that you do walk with Christ? You do have a faith walk, and football does not overtake that. You know, it's um, it's not hard, right? It should be very simple. I make it hard, right? You know, I, I'll say this. Um, the, the kids are always around me. They know where my faith is. They know I'm a Christian. They know I believe in God and I believe in Jesus. And, you know, we have our FCA stuff. And I'm the perfect example of thank God that he forgives us. The grace that, <laughs> the we, grace get that we get every morning. Yes. You know, so try to do a great job of always being level-headed because we, we constantly preach to the kids, don't let your emotions get out of control. And again, it goes for me too. And I've failed many times. I promise you, there's been times when something's went bad on the sideline and it's never towards the kids. Maybe in the headsets talking to the coaches where, you know, the language isn't right. But, you know, I always try to make sure to the kids. And this is this is the God's honest truth. I pray before the games, literally, that God works through me and, and lets me, you know, control my emotions because your emotions can get out of control but to still be a good example for those boys because I don't want to go and preach them, hey, let's do things right. Then on Friday night when something goes bad, be the guy that's out there, you know, cussing like a crazy man or acting like a fool. And I have done it before, you know, and I've went in and I've told the kids, guys, I was wrong. Thank God we have a God that loves us enough that can forgive us. And I said, I've, I've got to ask for forgiveness because what I showed out there and the way I reacted was not – who I think that I should be, and I apologize. And that was the question I was going to ask you during those moments. How do you demonstrate to the kids? And I think you answered that very well. You do, and I try to demonstrate all the time of, of being level-headed and, and being cool and calm and, and staying focused on the, you know, staying focused on the game. And it does take a lot of, please, Lord, let me calm down right now. You know, help me keep my focus here on, on the game and on the coaches and, and, and doing things right, not let my emotions get out of control because – I'm an emotional person, whether it's up, down, you know, left, right. I do. I jump I and hoop you. and holler and, you know, and I don't think that, that that's wrong. It's good. I mean, God made me who I am and that's who I am. But I've got to do a great job of demonstrating in, you know, language for number one, because that's the number one thing that they see. Number that's two, what I get dinged on the most, too. too. It is true. And, uh, you know, I don't want – I never want the things that I say – to go upon deaf ears. And I think God put that on my heart of, hey, you go and speak the way that you're supposed to speak, you're not gonna go on deaf ears. You go out there and cuss like a sailor and act like a fool, the language that you speak, the things that you're trying to say, it's gonna go upon deaf ears. And I don't want that to happen. I want to constantly be a, you know, a good leader for these young men. But at the same time, I am a great example of you know, thank God for grace. <laughs> Every morning we thank God for grace. And I do like the fact that after the games, you do invite the players and the other team to come in and pray with you and pray over the game that happened and, you know, the ride home and appreciate each other. And I think that's the God's grace that we get to show other people and our humility in the wins and the losses. It is, you know, he put me in this position to be a leader and to, to, to you know, Mentor. for him, right? I mean, literally, that's what that's why he put me in this position. I believe that for, for everybody, right? And I believe that coaching is a calling. I believe that he called me and these other coaches to be here to do this. And one of these days, we're going to go up there and he's going to say, what did you do with the time that I gave you? How did, how did you lead the way I supposed that I wanted you to lead, right? And you don't want to get up there and be like, I didn't do what I wanted you, right? I led the way that you wanted me to lead. So I think about that a lot, I promise. That's wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. And we thank you for this this uh, small bit of your time today. Thank hey, you. I appreciate y'all doing all this. And, you know, 
wins, losses, do it all. We're, we're very blessed to be where we're very blessed to be in a community like Brock. That is a Christian faith-based community, and they are very strong in it. And there's a lot of places out here in the world that you go and say the name Jesus or something, and man, you're 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 done for. Not in Brock, Texas. That's that's what I love about it. And really, Parker County as a county is that way, and it, and it's what I love about it, and what I love about being able to raise my kids in a place like Brock. Yeah, it's a great community. I'm. It's. Wonderful to hear. Well, we thank you, and we hope you have a great season and lead those boys well. Oh, it's going to be a great season. Thank you. We're with Coach Johnson from Millsap High School. Many of you may have seen him on my Beyond the Sport podcast. Coach Johnson, it's so great to have you here and just, one, to be with us, and you've got great news. Your your health is great, and I'm so glad to hear that. God is so good. and. We get to share that now with the world. And so I wanted to ask you, through it all, with the emotions and stuff that go through with what your life has been about and with sports and being a coach and being on the field with the emotions rolling, how do you express to the kids that your identity is in Christ and your you are, your identity is not a coach, your identity is not a football player or a power lifter? That's just something you do. How do you keep that focused for your kids that they are not all football, but they are children of God and um, football is just something that they get the opportunity to do in this great nation of ours? That is a great question. And my hope and my prayer is that gets expressed to them by how I carry myself, myself and all my coaches, how we carry ourselves when things are going good when things are going bad, yeah. when they mess up. I mean, there's a time and a place to chew out, but are we coming from a place of anger or from truly trying to help? And, and you know, I think having the realization of, of just how insignificant a score is in the long, in the long, uh, in the big scheme of things, I should say, yeah, uh, it kind of helps, uh, but it's, it's all about how, how we carry ourselves and that, uh, like when we meet as coaches here in a couple of days, you know, when we're back full time, one of our it's core here. values as coaches is to minister the gospel of Jesus Christ by how we carry ourselves. That's awesome. And I know, especially at times, you know, you get excited in the moment of the game and then have to self-correct and your kids can see that too and realize you're doing that because of who you are and not what you do. Yes, there, there, there were times. Uh, this year where I had to go back and apologize to the team because I, I didn't handle I didn't handle a moment as I felt I should have so I'm, I'm human I'm gonna make those mistakes and uh, but I have to remember that when they make mistakes and I think that's a good example set for the kids I mean even the Bible says you know they're not one of us is righteous not one of us is perfect and I think how we handle that and express that to the kids like you said you had to go back and apologize just shows the kids that even as a a strong walk with God and your faith in everything that you're still going to make mistakes, but it's how you handle it in the end that Absolutely. it really sets the example. How makes all the difference in the world. We can't, we can't control what happens, but we control how we respond. Exactly. Well, thank you. And we wish you a lot of good luck and success this year. Thank you. And thank L4 media. Thank you. We're with coach Joel from Bandera. How are you doing today? Doing great. Great. Wanted to ask you, in a sport where emotions run really high down there, coaches on the sidelines, players in the games and on the sidelines, how do you continue to show that your faith is a priority in your life during those moments to your athletes? You know, I think, I think probably the biggest thing, and I, I say they, they know my faith by my actions, how I treat them, how we communicate. And one thing I always tell them is I, I lay it at his feet before the game. And it's, it's been decided and it's, you know, and I'm, I'm for him and, and all those things. But I think that that's one of the biggest ways they know uh, by how the, we don't make the game bigger than the actions you take during the game. And the game is just something you do, not something you live for. Absolutely. And, you know, we're in this thing to change. I'm in this thing. My coaches, you know, we, we're in this to change lives. And so everything is from the mindset of uh, what's best for kids and impacting and changing lives. And, and certainly, you know, you have to be careful with faith and talking about it, you know, you walk the line, but they know. Yeah, and letting your actions show that what you've said you are is who you are. Exactly. 
Yeah. Thanks. And I say one more thing. Yeah. So we, we teach them all the time to walk away from bad situations and to remove themselves from tough situations. And so uh, all those things come through. That's great. Thank you for your You're response welcome. and thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thank you. It was brought to you by Tommy Hayes Photography. With over 15 years of taking sports photos, Tommy has mastered the portrait. Check out his work at TommyHayesPhotography.com, on Facebook at Tommy Hayes Photography, or on Instagram at Tommy underscore Hayes underscore photography.